Hello and welcome to another video of Generative AI LLMs Do It Yourself Tutorials on Google Cloud. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through understanding how you could create prompts and generate output on Google Cloud. And then we are going to follow very basic example of how you could do this using notebooks, using APIs. So let's get started. Go to the Generative AI Studio on Google Cloud as seen in the previous one. Click on language and you will be here. Click on text prompt. The best way to learn is to follow step by step. You can go back and rewatch the video and come back and follow step by step. So I'm going to hide this and I'm going to say, explain the theory of relativity in simple terms. When you type in this, you would see the response below after you click Submit. In the previous video, I have explained temperature, token limit, top K, and top P. These are the variables. From a basic understanding perspective, from a beginner's level, I'm going to use this text Bison at the rate 001 model for now. And then I'm going to keep all default, and I'm going to change it to 0.95 for best results. Now, all of these parameters can be tweaked, can be tuned to a level. It takes a little bit of iterative process. So go in here, come and create a new prompt, a text prompt, type this question, and set these variables. Click on Submit. I want you to stop the video right now, pause it, go back, and follow this step by step. This is where you would start learning. So now you got the output. Explain the theory of relativity in simple terms. Now I'm going to take this into a code. And using that code, I'm going to help you develop an understanding of using the Gen AI APIs. So let's do that. In order to do that, and I'm going to keep or save the code in the Git, which is mentioned in the video description section below. So you have code snippet. These are the three steps that we are going to do. Define project ID and location. I'm going to define two variables, project ID, LLM DIY. You can have your project ID, which is nothing but this. Next, you have location, US central one. Next, you have initialized AI platform. From google.cloud, import AI platform. AI platform dot init project equal to project ID location equal to location ID. What this is going to do is using the Google dot cloud package, it's going to import AI platform and it's going to initialize it on the project. And finally, you are going to load a pre-trained model from vertex AI dot preview dot language models. This is still in preview. This might change in future. Import text generation model. You don't need embeddings for now the text generation model. And then you're going to say model equal to text generation model dot from underscore pre-trained and text bison. So this is pre-trained model, text bison model, which is a palm based model, palm 2.0. So these are the major three steps that you're going to do. Let's see how to do it step by step. So you are going to find this notebook in the GitHub link, what you need to do is open this notebook, click on file and create, save a copy in drive. So, so that you have your own version of the notebook. Follow step by step, right? Now, this particular command, pip install Google Cloud Platform, upgrade user quiet. So this is gonna upgrade this package. If you do not upgrade the package, you might not get the AI platform dot in it option for the vertex. So I'm just going to do it. It's going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video and come back to it. After you have gotten this installed, go to runtime and say restart runtime. Please understand that you got to restart the runtime before you could do anything else. This is to ensure that the packages are new packages that are installed or upgraded are picked up. Next, you are going to authenticate. This is a command 
which you do not need to run if you're running it in a workbench inside the Google Cloud. This is for the advanced user. You don't have to run this when you are running it inside the Vertex AI workbench. But if you are running it from Colab, this authenticates this user on the project. So I'm gonna run this. Next, remember the first item, the first set, this one, I'm gonna execute it. And then I'm gonna do the AI platform in it. Now, I'm going to execute this statement, which brings in or loads text.python. Now, this is how I'm gonna make the response. I'm gonna say model, model, which is the text bison 001 is loaded. And I have pasted the same statement, same question, explain the theory of relativity in simple terms and the same parameters that I pasted over here. And you might see same or a little different result. So I run it and you would see that a response is returned back with almost same similar results, but a little different. Doesn't matter, right? Okay, now this is explain the theory. It's very simple, it just dumps everything. I'm not able to read so many things, right? Of so, so big of a text. I'm gonna make it a little simple. I'm gonna say that explain the theory of relativity in simple terms, follow this format. Scientist who wrote it, year of the theory and synopsis. So I modified the prompt and I instruction tuned it. That means I have provided definite instructions for the model to understand and remaining everything is the same. You wanna make sure that as much as time you could start spending with LLMs, you, would, you are gonna learn a lot of new things. So look at that, scientist Albert Einstein, year 1905 and synopsis. Probably the same text that was given here. Now, let me ask the model or the response to provide a summarized version. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say that exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna add synopsis in 50 words. So if I run this, it's gonna say Albert Einstein, year of theory, and this is a 50 word or less synopsis. So you saw with a similar hyperparameters how instruction tuning could help. I'll do a quick repeat. You started with this collab, make a copy of this collab, and then pip install, authenticate, initialize project, and init the AI platform using the same model, run the responses, and then you have explained here at Relativity. So in simple terms, in this format, and in synopsis, less than 50 words. So with that said, thank you for watching. I hope uh, this was informative. Please continue with other video series as well, the other videos in the series as well. I hope you are learning something new. Again, thank you for watching.